Dive into a world where crashing waves meet buzzing wings in the most unexpected place, your backyard. When a summer storm turns the sandbox into a miniature ocean, curious kids will discover how dolphins, ducks, and dragonflies become unlikely neighbors in the muddy shallows. Through interactive play and real science, this adventure reveals surprising connections between sea creatures and insects, like how mosquitoes lay eggs in tide pools. Crabs have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton or carapace that protects their body. They molt, shed their shell, as they grow. Crabs are decapods, meaning they have ten legs. The front pair are usually claws, pincers, used for defense and feeding. Crabs often have one claw larger than the other. Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure, including a queen bee, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees build honeycombs in hexagonal cells, which are incredibly efficient for storing honey and raising brood. Honeybees make honey by collecting nectar, Turtles generally live in or near water and have webbed feet or flippers, while tortoises live on land and have sturdy elephant-like legs. Turtles are ectothermic, cold-blooded, so they depend on the environment. Walruses are large marine mammals that live in the Arctic Ocean and subarctic seas of the Northern Hemisphere. Walruses are huge. Adult males can weigh over 3,000 pounds, 1,360 kilograms. Rhinoceros beetles get their name from the horn-like structures on their heads, which resemble a rhino's horn. Males use these horns to fight other males for mates or territory. Rhinoceros beetles are among the largest beetles in the world, with some species growing over 6 inches 15 centimeters long. Stag beetles can range in size from 2.5 to 12 centimeters, 1 to 4.7 inches, depending on the species. Males are generally larger than females. Stag beetles can fly, but they're slow and clumsy. Males are often seen flying at dusk looking for mates. Lobsters are typically brown, green, or bluish in the wild. They only turn red after being cooked due to a pigment called astaxanthin. Lobsters can't scream. The noise some people hear when cooking is steam escaping from the shell. Lobsters eat fish, Yellow jackets are often confused with bees, but they're actually a type of wasp. Sleeker, shinier, and more aggressive. Yellow jackets live in colonies, sometimes with over 1,000 individuals, including a queen, workers, and drones. Starfish have five arms, but some species can have up to 40 arms arranged around a central disc. Starfish don't have a brain or blood, 
Instead, they use a water vascular system to pump nutrients and move around. Octopuses have eight flexible arms, each lined with hundreds of suction cups that can grip, taste, and manipulate objects. Octopuses have three hearts. Two pump blood to the gills, and one pumps it to the rest of the body. Taste and manipulate objects. Ladybugs are beneficial insects because they eat pests like aphids, mites, and scale insects that damage plants. Ladybugs live for about one year, going through complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Penguins are birds, but they can't fly. Instead, they are excellent swimmers, using their wings like flippers. Penguins have black backs and white bellies, which helps them camouflage from predators, both above and below in the water. Ants' colony has different castes, queens, egg layers, workers, females that do tasks, and males for mating. Ants build complex nests with tunnels and chambers that can regulate temperature and humidity. Ants are incredibly strong for their size, Orcas are top predators with no natural enemies. They hunt seals, fish, squid, and even large whales. Orcas live in close-knit family groups called pods, which can consist of just a few to dozens of members. Hammerheads vary in size, from the smaller bonnethead around 3 feet, 1 meter, to the great hammerhead. Hammerheads are strong and agile swimmers capable of cruising long distances in search of food. Jackson's chameleons are famous for their three horns, one on the nose and two above the eyes, making them look like tiny Triceratops dinosaurs. Jackson's chameleons spend most of their lives in trees and shrubs, using their sharp claws and prehensile tails Fin whales live in oceans worldwide, from polar to tropical waters, often migrating long distances. Fin whales are often seen alone or in small groups, unlike some other whales that form large pods. Red iguanas spend much of their time in trees, using their strong legs and sharp claws to climb and cling to branches. Red iguana is known for its striking bright red or reddish-orange coloration, which makes it stand out compared to other iguanas. Whales breathe air through blowholes on top of their heads and must surface regularly to breathe. 
Whale calves are born underwater after a long gestation period, and mothers nurse them with rich, fatty milk. Alligators are cold-blooded reptiles and belong to the same order as crocodiles, but they are different animals. Alligators eat fish, birds, turtles, mammals, and even carrion, dead animals. They wait quietly in water and lunge at prey with powerful jaws. Sharks have several rows of teeth that are constantly replaced throughout their lives. Some can lose tens of thousands of teeth. Sharks have special sensory organs called ampullae of Lorenzini that detect electrical fields produced by other animals. Green iguanas spend most of their time in trees and are excellent climbers with sharp claws and strong legs. Green iguanas are strong swimmers and can hold their breath underwater for up to 30 minutes. Green iguanas are native to Central and South America, living in rainforests near rivers and streams. Green iguanas are popular pets but require specialized care and space. Dolphins are known for their exceptional intelligence, including problem-solving, communication, and even self-awareness. Dolphins are marine mammals. They breathe air through lungs, give live birth, and nurse their young. Dolphins breathe through a blowhole on top of their heads, even if it's just crumbs. Get ready for hands-on discoveries that will make you see mud puddles in a whole new way. Build a coral reef with sticks and pebbles. Stage a water strider race across a bucket pond 